Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I install my red wig. That's currently my favorite wig. And sorry about the setup. Sorry if I'm, I sound like um, echoing or anything. I'm currently in the washroom. I know I'm going to say bathroom. Bathroom, restroom, Canadian washroom. But I'm at my friend's place. I'm still sick so my voice is like weird. Um, sorry if you hear any noise in the background at my friend's place as I said but I need to get this video up so a girl gotta do what she gotta do. If you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat if you don't you need to like there's the uh, information right here. You guys know I've been rocking this red hair like this is fire. I really really love this wig. I'm gonna show you guys how I install it. I use the got to be cool gel for my initial video. Um, most of my pictures on Instagram, I use the I try the ghost bond glue. I can't, really, I don't ever really like that glue. It never stay long. I like kept on slipping. So today, um, I'm gonna try the Walker Steve Ultra Glue in maximum wear three. So I'm gonna try this one. It's supposed to last three to five weeks. Bro, well, that's not gonna happen. I'm pretty sure this won't happen. But I'm gonna try the direct shot is before bonding to pure skin and base with 99% off or I do have that. I'm just gonna use one layer like it says because I don't want it to last that long. I want it to probably last like a week or two week. So this is my hair and this is 91% alcohol. So I'm gonna just clean around my airline. And I'm using my viewfinder as my mirror, so I'm sorry. I'm going to put the glue, but I'm not going to put it on my hair itself. I'm just going to put it a little bit in front of my hairline. So I'm going to use like a lipstick applicator thing to put the glue on my hairline. Now I'm going to use the blow dry on the cool setting just to let everything dry. Okay, so it's tacky. So now I'm going to go in with the wig. Sorry, but I have to look in that one. Okay guys, so when I'm putting on the wig, I start from um, where the parting was and then I used the back of the rack tail comb and kind of press down the lace onto my skin and I pull while um, putting the lace onto my skin like you know I kind of stretch it and I use my fingers and the rack tail comb I part around my ears I always glue that part last for some reason I don't know why I, I need to try another way because the flap always comes up So now I'm showing you how messy it was and I was trying to fix it. To me this was a fail but then I eventually fixed it something I could work with. So now I'm gonna put some of the glue onto my, my sideburn so I can glue the flap onto my skin. Again, I'm using my fingers and the, the end of the rack tail comb. This is so messy. Like, oh my god. So I was just showing you guys how messy that was. It was extremely messy and tacky. Um, I really want to try the ghost, not ghost bond, I think it's bold glue. I'm looking for a glue that I can use and will make my lace wig last for like a week or so. So I tied my head with the head tie and let it stay for like 10 minutes. Then I came back to clean up all that mess and I used the C22 um, remover to clean up my hairline. Yeah, this is the removal for the glue. So I'm gonna just add a little bit to my cotton pad and just clean up around the edges. So you guys can just watch me while I do that. So 
so this is a fail you guys realize it moved back that's where i said it was a fail for me because you can tell where the lace was was not on top of the glue so i had to take it off and pull it back on top of the glue so that's what i was doing in these clips like take it off put it back and yep then i you know fixed my baby hair okay so finally it you know looked somewhat presentable or to my liking so then i decided to just put some one curls in it and use my what do you call those things again flexi rod to hold the curls for them to cool and yeah so about the hair i I realized I didn't talk about the hair but you guys know if you watch my previous video I'll have the link to the initial video up on the screen it should pop up anytime now but um, this hair was sent to me from Nadula hair company and trust me I really really love this hair this is Indian straight hair it's my first time trying Indian straight hair I tried Indian body weight before but I really really love this hair I really really love this wig you guys can tell because I've been wearing it a lot recently and it's so soft it's it's manageable it's low maintenance i don't have to do anything to it i just brush and go the curls don't really hold that long but i don't mind because i don't really like 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 tight curls i love the waves that the hair gives the next two days like it's not loose 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 but it's still there it's not straight but it's not as curly so i love it i love that i can just brush it and go then don't have to curl it don't have to straighten it or anything so i really love this hair so don't forget to check out nadula's hair company all the link will be in the description bar and yeah this is just me showing you how i try to use one of those you know long-term glue on my lace wig and you guys can see that i failed a little bit and then i tried to fix it but, but in the end it did came out a little bit nice around my airline i still needed to clean it up but that's okay so next time i'll be trying the bold glue i'm gonna buy that one and try the bold glue so right now we're on a search to find a long-term glue for lace wig don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and you know comment below let me know if you like this and give this video a thumbs up as well so you guys take care and i'll see you in my next one bye